Welcome back to Theme Park Wizards today, and we're going to check up on Epic Universe. A lot has happened over the past few weeks, so let's go ahead and check up on all the progress. All thanks to BioReconstruct, who's provided all the lovely photos for us today. Let's first check in on the entrance, the entrance to the park right now. You can see a lot of the uh, scaffoldings up, a lot of the concrete is finished, and there's even a nice portal here. Yes, portals will extend throughout the entire park. This will be the main entry and exit portal, although it will be obviously the biggest of the like five portals into the park. And it looks quite lovely. And if you zoom over to the past the portal over there, you can see all the main water features um, being are all finished with concrete and they're just waiting for water to be in them. The constellation carousel is all the way in the back over there, but there'll be a splash pad and a couple other water features next to that restaurant to the left hand side and straight ahead. Taking a more top to bottom aerial look at the park, we're going to zoom over to the hub section near the Wizarding World of Harry Potter area in the back of the park. You can see a section of the hotel, which we'll get to a little bit later, but the important part here is the landscaping. The landscaping surrounding the, or starting to appear next to the warp pipe. Or sorry, not the war part, but the entrance portal for the Harry Potter themed area. And a massive building. That massive building will be a food hall, which is expected to contain multiple restaurants, most likely quick service restaurants. But yeah, it's a very long building. Could potentially be two stories. I'm not sure if there's going to be anything on the second story or if, that's like, if it's going to be like for guests or not. But yeah, I expect this to be a nice little food court, food hall area uh, in the back of the park. Taking a look at the Grand Helios Hotel, you can see a lot of progress is made. In fact, the hotel is topped out. It is fully topped out now. It won't be going any higher. And the facade will be catching, or the siding will be catching up to it. And the windows and the glass and everything will be catching up to it. And you can see the front of the hotel, the grand entrance to non-park guests, where all the cars will be um, dropping guests up. Valley and everything is starting to shape up as well. Lots of construction equipment there. And then cars will be able to take that into the self-parking areas of the hotel. Over at the Dark Universe, the manor just looks better and better each update. And that's because the scaffolding keeps on coming down and just it's uh, almost finished look. We're just waiting for that top piece to be finished over there. This little snack beverage stand is all just about done. Just waiting for a little, little bit of scaffolding to come down as well. The courtyard entrance to the part the main attraction is just about done as well the, the grand entrance is has a lot of scaffolding on it and that's where you'll be entering the park or and not the park into the manor main e-ticket attraction then there'll be a very nice extended queue you'll go to and when it's busy and then you'll go into the main manor hall just like harry potter's kind of setups like going into the Harry Potter attraction, and it's funny because it's also the same ride system. Just like Hogsmeade, there's the main attraction, the Kuka Arm system, a e ticket ride, and a roller coaster. This roller coaster, though, is going to be a little bit longer than Flight of the Hippogriff, which is good, but it'll be, and it'll be a little more intense, but it'll still be the minor, or the, you know, the not, not the major attraction, but the minor attraction. But it will be still be really, really cool. In fact, you see a lot of the creepy looking trees are being stalled, landscaping it will be the outdoor queue area you can see some of the show scenes right the show scene the barn is complete and the show scene leading into the uh x into the load station of the attraction is done as well there'll be at least rumored to be well, at least one animatronic of the werewolf in the barn area but potentially another one and maybe you can see uh where it's going to be and I'd, I'd wager that second one if it happens will be in that show scene on the final break run flipping the background here is the extended cube too the Monsters Unchained, that's the rumored a name for this attraction uh, right here. And you can see they'll be going into a very nice looking courtyard. Again, I'm getting kind of Haunted Mansion type of vibes. It reminds me of like Haunted Mansion's you know, extended Magnolia Gardens area at Disneyland. But also kind of Tower of Terror, like Hollywood Hotel Courtyard vibes, which is really cool. I like those the mix of the aesthetics of those two attractions in the queue. And I like that the extended queue also is covered. These portions of it will be covered up um, because it's, it gets hot or rainy in Orlando. So it's nice to have extended queue that is covered and very much in theme. In this aerial shot, you can see the roofs of Darkmoor Village are starting to um, really come into their own right now. As the scalping is still there, but it will start coming down in the next few weeks. And the windmill structure is under scalping as well as the mountain rock work for the windmill 
restaurant there, um, the windmill restaurant, according to permits, that windmill will be lighting up on fire, just like in the movie, every so often. I as wager maybe every 15 or 30 minutes. So that'll be a cool sight to see, especially at nighttime. But yeah, this whole land is wild compact. It should be really, really cool, especially when the street atmosphere, street atmosphere is added into it. Flying on over to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. These these sets are, well, basically there are sets, but these facades are really impressive. I haven't Paris myself just one time, but I mean, the scale is literally quite unmatched. It looks exactly like the Parisian streets in Paris, and that's exactly what they're doing here. These are literal five-story facades, which are insane. And I mean, look at how much the scaffolding is up there um, trying to get all this work done. The windows are going in, lots of glass in those windows, a lot of the roof facades are already complete, and much more. Here's a look at the intersection of five small streets in this land, and maybe, I'm sure there'll be like some kind of fountain or some kind of you know, icon at the intersection, because it'll be like, you know, a courtyard square. We can also see the arch. The arch is fully under scaffolding, so I'm very excited to see what it looks like when it's outside of a scaffolding, and that forced perspective of what could be a, potentially be Mount St. Michel, or... I forgot the um, ca Mount ca uh, some cathedral. Don't quote me on that. But that forced perspective area where the entrance to the second attraction was going to be is still a whole bunch of steel. So I'll be uh, finished up a little later. Not quite as far along as the other portions of land, but it's just a small section as well. This is also what the rumored second um, expansion, or the first expansion of Epic Universe is supposed to go in the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, according to our good friend Alicia Stella. And that could be the Great Hall restaurant, which is pretty cool. Still not room for another attraction, but the Great Hall restaurant could be added to here as well. That would be a whole $150 dinner show. If it happens, it would be pretty awesome. And that could explain why the How to Train Your Dragon restaurant is called the Mead Hall. So we'll be watching for that um, pretty soon. It could start, that potential expansion could start while Epic Universe is still under construction and maybe open in 2026 or 2027. Over at the Isle of Burke, the flat ride, which I believe may be called Wing Glide. There's a couple names of trademark, trademarked, but I always get the coast name confused with the flat ride name. So I'm going to call it Wing Gliders or Flat Ride because I'm not entirely sure. I'm sorry. But test dummies have been installed um, in the seats, which is good. That means this could potentially even start testing soon um, with the test dummies in there, which is pretty awesome. Bio happened to fly over the Epic Universe site right after it rained, and he got this beautiful shot of the lake being filled up with the recent rainwater. So we gotta kind of have a look of what, get a taste of what this will look like when it's filled up with water on opening day. And oh, it just looks absolutely gorgeous. It's obviously much better looking than the concrete. But yeah, look at the coaster, how the, it's reflecting over the lake. Yeah, I cannot wait till this is complete and all done. Mead Hall over here is getting it's forced perspective mountain and it reminds me of so much of splash mountain the way it's kind of angled like that which is really cool but yeah it's a whole bunch of steel right now but that should be under scaffolding pretty soon and should look fantastic when complete the coaster station is all complete with the roof just about done there's maybe a couple of sections left but it looks great and really cool if there'll be some smoke coming out of those chimneys on the roof to add some thematic elements that'll be really awesome as well i'm not sure if that's happening just my hope and speculation but the coasters and dark ride or show scenes, there's like two of them, one on each launch, uh, both of them are complete. And that really defines the play area as well um, on that second launch. The boat ride is getting its first theme. It has, um, of course, the rock walls and the wood retaining walls. But yeah, look at those nice trees. Those trees are brand new and are very How to Train Your Dragon animation sticky, which is looking cool. And even the track, they see that big long stretch of track there in the center that'll be the guide rail for the boats and the station uh, the unload load area is being installed as well with all that wood as the canopy over in the hub you have uh the restaurant in the back here next to the hotel looking pretty awesome and just about done. another very large restaurant as well and moving over to the constellation carousel it's all done as well as the exterior portions of it. They're working on the interior and the mechanics in the cube area, which is that smaller section. That area in black tarp is a splash pad in between the water features and the um, show over there as well. Here's a closer look at that splash pad of what will be great for the children. And I'm sure there'll be some nice benches and places for the parents to relax while the kids are playing in the, plat in the pad. 
But recently, renderings and rooms and concept art have been revealed for the Terra, uh, Terra Luna and Stella Nova Hotel. So I'll link that video below if you want to see all the details on that. But the colorful artwork or the colorful facade is still being installed on the rest of the uh, Stella Nova. But as well as the entrance, you can see this is where the valet area will be. You can see a little circle, a little roundabout for the cars and that little grand um, entrance there, which is quite nice. And the Terra Luna still has yet to receive a lot of its facade, but that should be wrapping up pretty soon. And these hotels should be opening in 2025. Taking our last stop, which is the Mushroom Kingdom, you can see the Bowser's Castle Mario Kart entrance is looking great. And the first uh, layer of it has been complete. They're just waiting for uh, you know, Bowser's head and all that cool stuff. The exit is also showing as well. That will be Mario Motors, uh, the Mario Motors exit as well. And Bowser's uh, Mount Beanpole is getting its nice um, color on the bottom. That should shoot up to the top as soon as possible. Uh, Yoshi has, uh, of course, all the ride beagles, and they have some walls up as they're doing some last minute construction work on there to finish up its theming. The footers are being sold for Peach's Castle. You can see it right over the warp pipe entrance, which looks fantastic. And the rest of the land is getting some nice touch ups as well. Uh, all the concrete has been poured except for the bottom level the staircases are just about done or actually are done and uh, Toso cafe is still waiting for its you know its facade but i'm sure lots of interior work are going is going on in there as well as all the mini games and all the cool stuff of super nintendo world well, let's hop over to donkey kong right now over in donkey kong country the little meet and greet hut for the kongs are is just about done as uh, almost filled with concrete one piece of concrete needs to go in there as well but the water feature where the car minecraft will be jumping over is all filled with concrete just awaiting its water that will be happening in a few months as well no testing has been spotted in this photo or any pull through testing but there's cranes and other stuff doing the other theming for the mini land area and lots of scaffolding for the temple facade which will extend it's already you can see it's already gold on the right side that will be extending all the way to where all that steel is and covering up the show scenes for the Donkey Kong attraction. There'll be mini games as well as beverage carts and, and uh, that, all the aspects of Miniland in this area as well. That's going to do it for this week's update at Epic Universe. What was your favorite part? What is your most anticipated land? Again, if you comment your most anticipated land or no, if you comment below what you think, what you want. The first expansion to Epic Universe to be like the best idea you have, Lord of the Rings, expansion to Harry Potter, a new IP. What expansion do you want for Epic Universe? Comment down below. You can have a chance to win a Theme Park Wizard pin mailed to you. Whoever has the best or most exciting comment, uh, you have a chance to win every single video. If you liked this video, press that thumbs up button, subscribe for more Theme Park and Epic Universe updates, and consider checking out our Patreon, patreon.com slash club722 to get our club 722 pen exclusive perks and more awesome some really cool content like the fast and furious hollywood drift uh, track pieces have just shipped out and, and arrived last week that was all covered on our patreon so joe check that out right now and as always have an epic day